what is going on everybody D Crooks here bringing you the second installment of my Zephyr crate opening I've got 30 crates for you today I'm gonna jump straight in because um, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to open these yet um, I hope you're all having a really good Friday and uh, let's start off with the very first crate uh, I'm hoping to get some some absolute bangers today let's see how it goes come on It'd be nice if I got crate one with just something insane. That would be so good. Astaroth. Uh, if you watched my last video, you'd know that I get this one a lot. Um, so I am at the moment collecting this decal. I'm not interested in looking at that decal. Um, I think I've got five of them now. <laughs> Which is just, uh, yeah, it's just great. Um, I'm hoping for some decent painted items. Ah, some Thread X2s. I don't have any Thread X2s yet, so it'd be nice to add to the collection. Yes. No paint on. Standard Thread X2s. They're nice. They do look nice with paint on, I've seen. Um, but yeah, they're okay. They're okay, it's good to add to the collection anyway. Let's go. If you didn't check out my last video, please do check it out. I did hit some really good items in the last one. I'm hoping to replicate that today. Please put a bit of colour on the binary. No, that's standard. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I have a standard one. So that's okay. So, one one thing that I did uh, here from, since last time is the, the mystery decal in this one and also the singularity um, explosion. You can get them painted. That's the first time you've been able to get an explosion painted. Or, um, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the mystery decal, what is it called? Uh, mainframe. You can get them both painted. I think that mainframe is a bit buggy at the moment though. I think that you can get the painted item, but it, you can't see the paint on it yet. It, it needs to be updated. But or I think Rocket League have actually come out and said, you know, it is supposed to be painted. There, there's an issue with it basically. Um, so I'm interested to see what that actually looks like when they do bring the update out. I mean, obviously I'd like to get one first, but it'd be nice to see what other people have if I don't get one. I'm at not hitting much at the moment to to shout home about. It's not great. Come on, another starlighter, okay. Okay. Since the last time we spoke, I have actually got myself a Jaeger. Oh that is actually oh you know, with the right things and that might actually quite be quite nice. Painted and certified. Okay. Let's go. We need we need something today. I really want that mystery decal, or I want a set of the the nicer wheels. So I want some dynamos. You know, asking you shall receive. That, that's the thing in this game, apparently. Oh, nice. Certified. They are actually really nice wheels. I mean, it's going to be my luck that if I do get any painted ones, they'll be in crimson. But uh, they're nice wheels. I like them. When I've finished uh, opening the crates, there is a few things I want to talk to you about uh, with regards to the upcoming updates and things like that. So, so once we've done this, I'll jump into a game. We'll, we'll just chat. I'll just, ex just explain everything that I've read about. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll just talk. But first, I want to get these crates out of the way. I want to see if there's anything any good in there because. Matrix, okay. I can't remember if I've got one of them already. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I mean, it, it's nice. It is nice. I won't use it, but it's nice. So far, at the minute, I haven't actually hit anything other than the dynamos. That's really any good. I haven't already got. And even, th even then, they're not painted actually, they're just standard. Chantico. 20 more crates. That's 10 crates gone already. And I feel like I haven't hit anything really that good. I'm just hitting like, the lower items. Yeah, see another dot matrix. See, I'd, I'd like to get my hands on a cyclone. I still haven't got one of them. It'd be nice to get a cyclone. Come on. Got, I've got to hit something. Something's got to give. Please don't make me go through 30 crates and not hit anything. Any good. Some more Thread X2s. I think if they were painted, I'd see it in the uh, in the little thumbnail there. Yeah. Certified again. We 
nice to know what certification I've got on both of them now. But I hope you're all having a good Friday so far. Um, obviously mine's a little bit chill chilled out. Just say open is on create, start off my day. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, okay. I don't think I have one. Um, so it'd be nice to add to the collection. Um, I'm going to be doing some recording with the rest of the boys later on. Um, and we should be uploading that over the next coming, day coming days, hopefully. Um, fingers crossed everything goes well tonight. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out. I'm not going to reveal what we're recording yet. Purely because I'm still not too sure. We've got some ideas of things we want to play and we want to record. Um, but we don't normally discuss it until we are actually online together. So um, keep your eye out for that. Obviously, I, I will be you know, plugging it on. Twitter and Facebook and everything else I can think of, so do keep an eye out for it. Please do follow us on twi Twitter and do follow us on Facebook because we do uh, put regular updates on there on things that we're going to be doing. Ooh, that's painted and certified. Is that titanium white? That might look quite nice. Halfway through, guys, 15 left to go, and so far I have hit absolutely nothing that I am happy with. And that might make me sound spoiled, but it doesn't make for a very good video if you don't hit anything that is next level. I mean, don't get me wrong, with all this stuff that I am getting, it will make for a pretty good trade-up episode when I'm finished with the Zephyr Crates. But at the minute, it's just not doing much for me. Um, I am thinking about doing another crate opening next week. Obviously, I've gone from... 15 crates in the last video to 30 crates in this video so maybe in the next one I'll probably round up to possibly 50 I'm not too sure yet and we'll see how it goes ooh what is that? saffron that's actually quite nice I seem to be collecting painted binaries which it's okay our oh, last time it's last video if you haven't watched it I started on a singularity and I ended on a singularity and it was the best thing ever uh, no, another rest are off. I am collecting these. I am intrigued as to how many I've got now because I need to get rid of these. But it seems like from watching from watching other YouTubers also opening crates, I've noticed that that one seems to come with a lot. That one and Mrs. Avocado, they seem to come out a hell of a lot. See, see, this is what I'm saying. It's just Astaroth hates me. If I keep getting these, I'm just going to name this the Astaroth crate opening because I feel like out of 20 crates this will be, I've got probably four Astaroths maybe. I could be lying there, I have no idea. But I've got quite a few, I've got more than anything else, obviously. Starlighter, again. God, this is becoming a pain. I just want to hit one really sweet thing. And I, I want it to be obviously one of these. I want some other reactors. Two fire guard mainframe or another singularity, I'll be happy with another singularity. Just paint it a little, maybe, or even if you don't paint it, that's fine anyway. Just having it is is better than opening 30 crates and getting absolute crap. Oh, yes, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Sweet, what's that forest green cyclone? That is nice. Oh my god, that is actually really nice. Wow, I like that. That's a nice car. And it looks nice as well in, in forest green. Look at the little painted sections. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I may actually try that out in a little bit just to see how it feels. Everyone says I think it's supposed to be like the, the Breakout 2 hitbox, is it? Um, which is okay. It's a decent car, so I might try that out in a little bit. I still haven't got any of those Libertines yet. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I still haven't got a pair. It'd be nice to get some. But uh, at the moment, it seems like today is just the, you know, the crate of crap at the minute. I've got eight crates left, and I feel like <laughs> there's still about five or six items that I want to get. Um, so the chances of me not hitting all of them is very, very good. That's Mrs. Avocado. So lovely, but I really don't want you. Thank you, but no thank you, Mrs. Avocado. I will probably end up having to, having to do another crate video because I don't seem to be getting what I want from the Zephyr crate at the moment. Um, I probably won't leave it as long to do another video on this. Um, I think 
the last video done on this was over a week ago now. I will probably do another one, probably in a couple of days time maybe, um, we'll see. Six crate, come on, let's go, we need something, please give me something. There's a lot of mainframes in there then, which means that I ain't going to get one. Ooh, pink thread X2, is that pink? Oh man, I actually really like them. Oh wow, they are, they're not very bright, they're a little bit dull. But with some designs, that actually might look quite nice. Like, I like the tread on it. Look at that. It's quite, it's quite nice. Okay, that's, that's decent. It's not obviously a banger, but it is nice. So they'll be quite good. Come on. Give me something. Starlighter again? Okay, I'm collecting them as well. I seem to be getting a load of them. I've got a couple of different painted ones. Oh, I've painted. I've got, that's a grey one, is that? Grey, yeah. It's okay. Not what I'm after. Four keys left. Let's go. Four keys. I mean four crates, but also four keys, I suppose. Come on. I need to hit something. Another pair of Thread X2s. It's cool. It obviously, it's, you know, it'll all do, do well for the trade of episode. But last three crates. I need to get something. At the moment, I haven't got anything that's kind of, you know, jumped out at me. Another binary. Paint it, maybe. Paint it. It'd be nice just to give me something extra. No, that's fine too. I wonder what that one would look like in forest green. I wonder if it'd just be the exact same thing. If anybody's got a forest green one and it does look identical, just leave a little comment below. I'd be interested to see. Whether or not it does look identical. Okay, some libertines. I don't have them. Uh, maybe paint them. I don't think. I, th I don't think they are because otherwise you'd see it. But okay. See, I do like the tread on these. It's probably one of the nicest treads I've seen on a on an actual wheel yet. But this side of them, I think, is is uh, disgusting. So I won't be using them. Last rocket league crate. Uh, if you don't stick around uh, to talk to me and listen to me talk about the update, then. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday. Hopefully we'll get a little banger to seal this one off. Um, but the way my luck is going, I'm guessing it's going to be another Astaroth. Because that is the way my great openings have gone. See? See you can't make this stuff up. I, it's ridiculous. I must have so many Astaroths now. Not even painted or anything like that. So let's discuss the upcoming Rocket League updates. So there's a few things I wanted to cover. Um, I will link in the description uh, for where I got the information about the updates in case you want to have a read of it yourself. Uh, but the things that stood out for me are, uh, one of them is Rocket ID. Uh, they, they think it's going to come out in September. It's going to be where you can actually play with other people on different platforms. So if you have a friend who's on the PlayStation or the PC or the Xbox, you'll now be able to party up with them and play with them, which I think is quite cool. It would be nice if, instead of getting the little sign up box, we can actually see somebody's, you know, profile picture, user picture, whatever, I don't know. Maybe they create one for this specific reason, who knows. Um, so that's quite exciting. And the next thing I wanted to talk about was they're changing their levelling progression. Um, and in Rocket League's words, to make it more desirable, achievable and rewarding. Now, I don't really know what that means and I don't know what that's going to look like because they haven't said. But I do think the levelling is, is a little bit broken. Um, my leveling is all over the shop on one thing I'm really low and the next thing I'm really high and there's no consistency there and I don't know if I don't know why that will be I mean obviously it's because I'm bad in some areas and others I get that so please don't destroy me in the comments regarding that but it, it does make me curious as to what they're going to do to change that uh, the next thing is obviously this next season is going to be season 9 and they are going to be bringing out uh, literally competitive modes for rumble drop shot snow day um, all of those all of those good ones that we play for fun, but they don't really mean anything. Um, we're now going to get a ranked version of those. So I think they're going to have their own little separate tab that you can go into. But that's going to be quite cool. It's going to open up Rocket League a little bit more for everybody. Um, because I'd be interested to know what my rank in Drop Shot or Snow Day or Basketball even as well. I'm interested to know what my rank would be in those. So that's going to be quite good. Um, I made a video on me doing my first 10 games trying to get a rank in drop shop because that would be quite interesting um, but the most exciting thing about this update has got to be the rocket pass 
uh, they're estimating it for one week after the August update, so this month, um, and they're saying that it's going to bring premium upgrades to, you know, your your Rocket League pass. So what they're it, what they're saying is it's not going to be like crates or anything like that, but you could get decryptors in there. Now you will have to pay for the pass, I'm sure. Um, with other games that I've played that has the pass on, you have to pay for the pass. Um, but each level, so when you're playing the game, ignore the fact that you've got a level already. So um, ignore the fact to say I'm level 61 at the moment. It means nothing. In this, you will all start from level one, and you will all level exactly the same. And however much you play the game, you will unlock, you know, further rewards. But they are estimating that'll take a hundred hours to complete the first tier. As in, the they have a normal standard tier. If you do complete the 100 hours, roughly 100 hours anyway, um, you will then unlock something called a pro tier, which means that there's going to be a load more painted items, and apparently the items in there are going to just be a lot nicer. That doesn't mean that the stuff in the standard package isn't going to be great, but it just means the things in the pro tier are obviously going to be next level because you've put that time in to get them items. Um, that time of 100 hours could decrease if it does land on a double XP weekend, so that could help you out quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that, that is everything that I found from the update to be quite interesting. Um, like I say, I will link in the description below for both the Summer Roadmap um, and then also the Rocket Pass, just to give you a little bit more information. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And please hit that little bell icon so you get the notifications for every time we do upload a video. Um, we are hoping to upload quite a few videos over the next coming week, um, just to keep you going, really, with uh, all of our content. So yeah, please do comment, like and subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your Friday. Take it easy. Oh.